everybody. Welcome to ChinFat. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys the nature of your project files and, and how a lot of professional editing apps work when it comes to project files and when it comes to media here and how those operate. Very important to understand. So in an earlier episode, I showed you guys how to save your projects, how to create a new project and where to save them at. Uh, so here I have saved my project by going file, save as, and I found a location. Here's a folder they put in and here's my project name. So that's my Premiere Pro project name that I saved in that folder there called Organized Media Project here. Uh, if you want to know where your project file is being saved, you can simply move over this hover over this name at the very top, and it shows you your location on your project. So mine is under Volumes, which is my hard drives here. And I've got a hard drive named Things, and then I've got a folder named Organized Media, and then I've got my project file there. It shows you the exact location where you have saved your project file. Very important to know. Now, the way Premiere Pro works is when it saves a project file, and you import media into that project file, it does not add the media to the project file. It is simply telling that media, which is in whatever folder on your hard drives, it's telling that media what to do, how to edit, how to be organized within the project. That does not change the nature of the media on your hard drive. Premiere Pro is just referencing that. This is different with something like PowerPoint. With PowerPoint, what that does, we're gonna go up to File, Save As, or I'm gonna put this in the same folder, and I'll just call it Organize Power PowerPoint. Organized PowerPoint is in the exact same folder. I save it and let's go look at these project files initially here. Within that folder, I've got my Premiere Pro project file and my PowerPoint one. Uh, I've got 53 kilobits, very small for for uh, for my project file file and the organized and the organized PowerPoint is quite a bit larger than that. They're still very small files, but watch what happens when I add media to my PowerPoint here, whether it be a photograph or a video. Let's make it a little bit larger by adding a video to this. I'm gonna go to Insert Video Movie from File. I'm gonna grab this file that's 82 megabytes, this video file, and I've dropped it inside of my PowerPoint here. So now this, this has a video clip that will play back inside of my PowerPoint here when I come to the slide. You can even preview it here. Sorry, this is not a PowerPoint tutorial, but I wanna make a point here. But now I'm going to hit Command S, or it would be Control S on a PC, and it saves and updates my, my PowerPoint file. I go to here now, and now my PowerPoint file is around 85 megabytes, which is a lot bigger than this. It's added that video file to this, uh, it saves that video within this project file. It saves that media within the project file and adds it to this. So you have one individual project file. So if you add lots of video clips to your PowerPoint, this can start to create, make it very, very large. When you're doing PowerPoint, it's recommended that you do, uh, that you compress your video so you don't have a huge, huge file that you're working with. Uh, that's, uh, that's really difficult to share. Uh, within Premiere Pro, let's get rid of all my media here and I'm gonna import just that file that I imported into my, and I'm gonna import that same file into my Premiere Pro project that has the exact same file clip that's 85 megabits. I'm gonna hit Command S and save. And it just saved my project and updated it. And now when I go under this file here, I deleted the original footage that was in here. So, so basically the instructions is what's taking up information, the instructions on what to do to that media file. But notice this is not increased to 85 megabytes like the PowerPoint did. The video is not embedded in this project file. It's reading it separately. Um, so keep that in mind. When you take your project files, you need to bring your media along with you. And now if I do some, and some editing here, I drop this into my timeline and let's do some cutting here really quick. Just do some random editing, cut that into some clips there and then do command S and save. Go back to my project file and look at it. It increased it to 19 kilobits. What it is increasing is the instructions here. It's basically a text file, what is called an edit decision list. And that, uh, that information telling, telling that footage what to do is taking up more, more space. But this is a very, very small file here. Oftentimes, the amount, the amount of information that goes in the, into these edit decision lists telling the media what to do can be about as small as a regular email that you're sending off to somebody else. So this footage here is on a hard drive. If I right click on it and I say reveal in Finder, it will open this up in the folder where I have it on my external hard drive here. So right now it's referencing that. I'm gonna close Premiere and I'm going to disconnect this drive. There's an external hard drive plugged into my computer. I'm, I'm going to disconnect this, eject it so it can no longer read that footage that I'm accessing in that project. That hard drive has now disconnected. I'm going to open up Premiere Pro again and click on my organized media project. And when it opens up, it says, I can no longer find this footage. Where is it? And it's disconnected. So that project file does not contain that media. It's referencing it. I can get past this and into my project by hitting media offline which doesn't do any good because it just brings up this, this window here where it shows my edit down here on a blank video file that has no media and it's just telling me media offline in several different languages here. So if you get to this situation, what I recommend doing is hit Command Q or Control Q to quit your software. Do not save the changes because if you save it, it'll save these files as offline and you'll have to reconnect them all manually, which is a pain. 
So if you get to this point, you say no. Now I'm going to reconnect my hard drive. I'm going to plug it back into my computer. And there we go, the, my hard drive to pop back up. And now the file that my project was accessing is there again. If I open up this file, I can see it right there. So now when I open up Premiere Pro and I didn't save it that way, and I open up my project here, that file is reconnected. It was able to find it. Just make sure that if you open up your project and the media is disconnected, close Premiere completely, close the project completely, don't save it, and then reopen once you've reconnected the media to your computer. And then it will find all the files. So that just kind of shows the nature of how Premiere Pro project files work. Just remember, your project file is just referencing the media. It does not add the media to your project file. So it never really changes the nature of the actual media on your hard drive, whereas something like PowerPoint or other apps will add it to the project file and keep increasing the file size of that of that, of that that project as you add the media to it. So, All right, well, thanks for watching Chinfat. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know.